Okay, so here we are in Power School, and we're going to be working to change a staff password. So you would change here from students to staff, and then type in their last name. It looks like as if you're helping me, and it will bring up that person's um, art, not article, their profile. So I'm not a teacher. So when you click on teacher and affiliations, if you're helping a teacher, they should still have stuff here. They should have this checkbox checked, their username, which is first initial, last name, and their password will just show some dots. If they've forgotten it, you can't see it to help them to tell what it is, but you can erase it and type in a simple password to help them. It will look a lot like this. If I go to the admin access and pull up that screen, right now it's slow. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it will look a lot like this. It'll have the same username, first initial, last name, and the password will be all like hidden. You can change it. You're changing it to a temporary password. I use like SB123456 or 123456 or Mashby with no capital M. Those are my go to reset passwords. So when I highlight this and I type in a new password, you cannot see it. It doesn't show you what you're changing it to. But once you've typed it in there, you'll go all the way down here to submit and it will save it. You then go write an email to that teacher and you say I've changed your password to MASHB with no caps or SB123456 and when they log in, they enter your temporary password and then they'll be prompted to put in something more complex. So that's how that works. If you have any questions, let me know, but it makes it a lot easier if you're trying to run a PD and help teachers at the same time.